Gorilla physics. Yeah. I challenged my A-level physics class to design a crumple zone for this trolley. I've got a good video that I'll put a link to which explains how crumple zones work. Essentially what we're doing is just allowing the trolley to roll down this ramp and have a collision with the books at the bottom. I've uh, taped my phone onto the top there and I'm using an app which allows me to log the forces, it uses the accelerometers in the phone to uh, measure the forces. And I'm just comparing the peak force for this one and another student's entry. You can see, I hope, that both of these are increasing the time taken for the impact and that reduces the rate of change of momentum. So they both got the same initial momentum, they both go down to zero momentum, but the time that takes is different than one without a crumple zone. So because we're increasing the time, we are reducing the force. Now this one lost because in actual fact the change in momentum was greater. It did quite a good job of actually crumpling, but because it pushed the trolley off backwards, it actually meant that the change in momentum was doubled. But this one was good because it crumples and stays deformed, and that is exactly like a real crumple zone. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people.